con uh, buonasera. Fatelo Good evening. L'applauso, fatelo. A big round of applause fatelo for you all. Famiglia Gresini, to fatelo a Fausto con Fausto. Gresini family to Fausto Gresini. Con Fausto anche nel 2024. With Fausto also in 2024. Sera, um, this afternoon evening we will start having the first Abbiamo steps in the new season. We have lived the 2023 season. Gresini, We've seen amazing years for the Grisini family. We will try to find out a bit their bikes and their pallets because there have been some changes. I will have the duty and the honor to join you and to accompany you. I would start with the protagonists, with the Grisini family, Nadia and Luca. Please join me on stage. Ciao. Hello there. Come state? How are you guys? Ma è sempre un qua, eh? It's always a uh, big emotion to be here, but we're ready, we're pumped. We're good, we're ready. Is everything ready for 2024? Well, I'd say so, yeah. So we're going to be speaking about Moto E and Moto 2, and then we will move on to another room to talk about Moto GP. And we will see the bikes. I would start with these two projects that Fausto brought on with so much passion, and you decided not to abandon these. Um, Moto E is also synonymous of sustainability, yeah? It's an electric motorbike. It was Energica, and then we moved uh, this year with the Ducati brand. It's a big project, green project. We try to go towards this direction to make the world a better place for everyone. These bikes are really competitive because they are quite fast. And in Moto E, we can already unveil our two pilots that are the ones that we had also last year. So I'm talking about Alessio Finello and Matteo Ferrari. So you never get to change a winning team, innit, Luca? That's an old saying that we can uh, reiterate here. Yes, absolutely. We won the first year, then we stopped winning, but we never changed. In 2024, we have to try to do what we did the first year, to win again. So 2019 was a brilliant year, but it looks to me that you say that you have the same goals. And you tell me how you worked throughout these months to improve the bike. So Moto2, same continuity, but with young riders. Yes, we have the same mindset also in Moto2 in 2024. We changed... Uh, the pilots that we had last year in 2023. Oh, we now have two young play, um, bikers, Manuel Gonzalez, a young pilot, but really talented, and a, let's say uh, one is more used to it, that is uh, Albert Arena. So 21 years old guy and the one more experienced. And this is a mix in it. But the team really changed. It was a big responsibility for you, innit? Let's say that this year, with Moto2, we wanted to have a strong team for 2024. And we couldn't help but um, focusing and insisting on Manu, someone that had the first podium in Qatar, and he's quite a promising rider. And also, Albert didn't have an easy season, so to say. But we know that he's strong. And in our opinion, with our packet, with our technicians, with our team, they will do really, really well. So, Valencia test were in grade. We were fast. We're not unveiling and spoiling anything, but we are trustful that uh, we're on the, long, on the right path. Makes sense that not to unveil these things now. We will see them from March onwards, but um, paddock side, it seems that uh, your um, bikers lineup is the best one for Moto2. I will try to understand with them later on who are going to be the first contestants. First of all, uh, so thank you very much. And let us now have a look at the details of Moto E. Thank you, guys.
Here they are. Our protagonists. Can I stay between you two? Matteo Alessio, welcome. How are you guys? Ready? Pumped? Sorry, I don't have any hands left. Yes, we're all right. Thank you. Are you guys ready? Yes, I can't wait to start. Can't wait to start. I can't wait to, to see the bikes. I would start tomorrow if it was for me. Yes, I agree. Even though the sixth season, I'm always motivated. A couple of months, we have the test, and then we start even beforehand this year. Because even better. You said Portimao, yeah? You mentioned Portimao. And I think that you might like it a lot. Last year, you were close to the victory, yeah? So everything went well because it was our best uh, season in terms of speed. We were competitive in all the tracks. So this is positive and we have to start from that, build from that. All that missed was some details, a bit of luck and a bit of talent in some moments. But we know where we have to work and the important thing is that we are competitive. And we will try again. Uh, I'm not going to say the goal uh, as not to to jinx it. <laughs> I would like to ask you. I, I also prefer not saying it. Last year we started off well. Um, then it was a bit complicated, but we need. I need to do the extra step. The step that we deserve, because we've been working really well. It's the third year that we work together. And we, we deserve to bring home the results that for which we've been working on. I'm not here to join, I'm here to stay in the first positions. So yes, I have a goal, but... No, 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 you need a round of applause. You deserve it. He's, he's pumped, yeah? So that was the title of, of it. It will be tough, because we all, we're all really fast. But that's what we have to think about. We're here to win, all of us. Okay, makes sense, but at the end of the day, I want, we want to see the protagonist. Shall we have a look at the bike? Of applause. I'm not really in. I'm the odd man out here. So, what do you say? It's always a beautiful bike, so you have to be in the first positions. There's no other choice. There are some details that gave us an extra boost this year. So, we are absolutely fluo. So, if we are in the first position, you can easily detect us. I will write this down, so when I'm live, I will snap you, saying the fluorescent guys are here. Thank you very much, guys. We will continue later on. Thank you. We can't wait to see you on the track, starting from the first tests. So, as far as technicians are concerned now, and not only the romantic ones, let us uh, have a look at the characteristics, features of these bikes.
Shall we call him on stage? Yes, let's do it. Carlo, please. Carlo Malini, commercial manager. Welcome. Good evening, everyone. So, how are you doing then? You must be moved and pumped for this new season. Very well. New season, new year, a lot of work during the winter, preparation phase, and paradoxically you start and everything goes on. But it's beautiful to prepare things and making sure that everything is ready at the right moment. So have you seen your pilot? They already gave us the title. Yeah, they've done a great job. They looked really at ease. We will see them on tracks. With you, let's talk about sponsors because they do play a pivotal role. And it's absolutely fair to talk about them. Let's start from Fellow. We will continue with Fellow, a Chinese company. We've started working with them in 2022 with a long term project. We have a big engagement that is going to go on at least till 2025. They do electric scooters, so is there a better vehicle uh, than that? Since we are working on uh, electric vehicles, an important company, even though it's young, it's really important all over the world. We have a fellow Italia, Italy fellow. 2022, we got third. 2023, we got third. So 2022 and 2023, we got third place. It would be the right moment for us to get back to the main goal. So winning the championship, as we did in 2019, when the first season of Moto E was launched. So Matteo understood the things that missed. Maybe that your experience, that what helps us for. He's been with us for a long time. He did some comments about last season, but still. I think that he's pretty committed to do well. You described it well, the fellow world, but I was told that uh, for the job I do, images speak for themselves. So let's get into uh, fellow world, shall we? A big round of applause to one of the two title sponsors. What about the second one, QJ? It was kind of love at the first sight. So how do these two worlds match? QJ is a company that came on board last year, a Chinese group owned by Gili Group, a huge Chinese automotive company, both in four wheels and two wheels. We started with them last year, and they had an important strategy also in competition. We will see them in the Supersport category, and also with the prototypes in Moto2 as sponsor of Grazini's team. We will continue with them until 2025. We changed the pilots, new lineup with Manu and Albert. They were really fast already from the first test in Valencia after the end of the championship. So this is in a category where we did really well. We have Tony here. The first championship won in 2010 in Moto2. Say the main door entry door for MotoGP. And we would like to prepare to make sure that our pilots are trained for that. You're yeah, quite well, because 10 titles you can you have together. Five pilots on out of six have been world champions. You talked about Manu. Manu did all the categories, I think, if I'm not wrong, yeah? If I studied well. Let us have a look at the images here. QJ. Are you on? Well, to the course. A path ignited by dreams. 
dreams. From the very first step, never settling for second best. A path of innovation and independence, where the essence of made in China thrives unabashedly. A relentless path of exploration, believing in the power of technology to shape the future. This is global integration, carving new life from the classics. Half that soars with the winds, making the powerful even more formidable. A path of unmatched vigor, where you can ride freely, cross boundaries with zeal, with unending vitality. Also a path paved with ideals. From China to the world. From the past to the future. New energy, new intelligence. Creating new possibilities for tomorrow. From where you stand to new horizons. This path engraves my beliefs. So far as we were talking about Moto E, now we have the noise of bikes that is gearing up. So we did a big laugh. We had some laugh about it. So we had a lineup confirmed for Moto E. You changed everything for Moto 2. Now the two pilots, we have them one against the other. Have a look at that. Yo soy Albert Arenas. Yo soy Manuel González. Descriviti con una sola parola. Competitivo. One word. Professionalità. Quando eri bambino, cosa sognavi di fare da grande? Vincere il mondiale. Vincere il mondiale. La cosa che ti ha entusiasmato di più nell'ultimo periodo? Lo stesso. Il tuo ricordo più bello? 2020. 2020. Io nel 2019 campionato. Se potessi avere un superpotere, quale sceglieresti? Si chiama teleporto. Teleporto? Teletrasporto. Così arrivo a casa dopo l'entreno e subito. Directly. Eh sì, volare. To fly, yes. Ragazzi, si sente che parlate, please, finché facciamo il video. Caldo o freddo? Hot or cold? Hot. Freddo. Cold. È nato prima l'uovo o la gallina? Which came first, the chicken or the egg? La gallina. The egg. Scegli una sola cosa da portare con te in un viaggio. Choose only one thing you would take on a trip. The phone. La testa. Canzone preferita. Favorite song? Viene, this Age of the Tiger. I am the tiger. Sing it. Na na na. Che sa un T e un T Dai una mai T e un T Cena o discoteca? Cena o disco? Cena Cane o gatto? Dog o cat? Dog Cane All the way Pilota preferito? Valentino Rossi Valentino Rossi? Io? Me? Myself? Cioè Mare o montagna? Mare o mountains? Mare, mare Potendo scegliere chiunque, chi porteresti a cena? Natalie Portman Natalie Portman? Racconta un momento imbarazzante della tua vita. Adesso cantare. Cantare qua. Ciao ragazzi, sempre a full gas. Ciao, ciao, non vedo l'ora di iniziare il mondiale. Ciao. Albert Arenas, Manuel Gonzalez, qui sono. No, we're going to sing now, yeah? Shall we start singing? Later on, maybe, yeah. But you will make some music uh, on the tracks. How are you guys? It was so funny, the interview. I wrote some notes, and we will get there later on. How long have you been... How was it joining Grazzini wearing these colors, Manu? 
half of the season last year. I had some good results. They asked me to join them. I know that this is a one of the best teams, if the best team, so I want to grow up with them and I think that we can do it. You heard that he was in the team and you said I started talking with Michele during the last trips in Canaria. I went to see them in the office. We started get to, to know each other. We've been here for since Tuesday. I feel like I'm at home, a beautiful family. And I can't wait to start, but it's important that uh, we enjoy these moments. Manu, when they told you, do you know that next year, 2024, you're going to be driving with uh, Grissini? How was your comment? What did you say, first thing? I'm really... Only with the name, we know what time, what kind of team we're talking about. There are just a few words about it, but we have a l something to show on the tracks. It's our responsibility. So let's have a look about the main protagonist. About for many weekends, are we going to be spending together? Here too, I'm going to ask your permission because I'm the odds man out here in this evening, which is all for you. I'm going to start from the test. You were happy with them, waiting for the next ones and starting to waiting to start in March. Albert, the blue, the pale blue, I like it very much. Even when you get to the box, you feel a special energy. And the bike, we tried it in November, and I can't wait to. Saddle up and drive. Tell us a bit the com um, contestant. Who are the main people that you have to take into account? There are many strong drivers. I think that the ones that we had last year will be there again. I can't say any name. I know that for sure five, six drivers, pilots are there. And I will try to be there with them as well, yeah? I think that uh, we can do it. What is your goal, Albert? You have to raise the bar here. He said, I hope that I'm among the first ones. We're here to work, work tirelessly, to become strong, to be the better version of us, the best version of us. We went to the podium last year, now we want to win this year, so we have to work hard and let's see how far we go. Some victories, then thank you very much, Albert Arena and Daniel Gonzalez. Thank you, guys. Shall we take uh, a picture of this? First part of the afternoon evening, I will invite the Grisini family, Carlo, you all, to take a first snap. So, sorry, my bad, there's the video, sorry. You will excuse me. I'm a quite a aged host, so I need to have a look. We have to see Moto2 technical-wise first.
on this first part is about to finish and then we will move on to the premier category MotoGP. I want to thank you for the first part that we spent together. You can move on to the next room for MotoGP. But before that, Ladia, Luca, all the Grissini family, Lorenzo, Carlo, please join me on stage. The protagonists, Moto2, Moto E, the pilots, the four pilots. I will just leave you on the stage. The stage is all yours, guys. Don't be shy. 